This is your weekly moment of growth. Hey, so I am currently in Washington, D.C., presenting at Coach Cav's Mastermind. And this is now the third year in a row that I'm presenting at his Mastermind on podcasting in some way, shape, or form. And I was thinking about the progression of what I've taught uh, to this group of individuals. And obviously, the group has grown and, and changed, and there's some people that are there every single time, and some, some people have left, and new people are there every single time. And so the message always evolves. And I was thinking about the first time three years ago or two years ago, uh, you know, I presented on how to get booked on podcasts and how to really reach out to podcasters and and really begin the process of being able to get on there uh, as a guest and start to tell your story. And the second time I was out there, I talked about the art of storytelling and how you're able to kind of tell your story in a way that um, empowers, but also hits a chord because being a guest on a podcast, the important part is connecting with the audience. And a lot of times we don't know that audience. We don't know if there's one person listening or a million people listening, but what we know is they're human beings. And so how can you tell your story to really touch them? Now, this time I'm actually going a deeper dive and talking about a brand new way, uh, an approach to getting on podcast as a guest, um, since I've already given them the tools to tell their story, but now I want to give them the platform since they already know how to do it. Now, how do we get on the platform and start start doing this thing? And so what I wanted to share with you guys in this moment of growth is really the, the true art and simple steps to telling your story in an effective way um, and why it's important that you hit certain tiers um, in order to impact the audience. And when I think about when I started to tell my story and how that's evolved, what I realized first, we have to understand what are our accolades? Why are we asked to be guests on podcasts, why Why would somebody listen to me? And so when I think about myself, obviously I talk about, you know, Inc. Magazine listing me as a top eight podcast every entrepreneur should follow. I think about the growth of my business. I think about the relationships I've formed. So there's many different angles now I can go with. But what I want you guys to do now as you're listening to this, I want you to write down your greatest accomplishment. I want you to write down the thing that if you had to brag about yourself in a sentence, what would that be? So take a moment now and jot that down. And you might take a little bit more time than you think because sometimes when we're living in our own skin, we don't realize our accomplishments. So think about what other people are saying to you. What are they admiring you for? What awards have you won? What accomplishments have you achieved? Now, obviously, if you're thinking about being a guest on a podcast, you've already achieved accomplishments. Like you shouldn't be going on a podcast just to be like, hey, I grew up in a state and now I live in a different state, unless it's a traveling podcast. Uh, but, But you want to think about your accomplishments. Number two, you want to really talk about your rock bottom moment and what that meant for you and your trajectory of your business, your life, your coaching, whatever you're doing now. So obviously my rock bottom moment was when my mom passed away. And, you know, I look at that and I go, if I didn't have that rock bottom moment, I wouldn't be doing anything that I'm doing now. And it's really crazy to think about. And so what I end up doing is tie that rock bottom moment into why I was able to accomplish what I've done. And so now I'm showing growth. I'm showing pro- you know, productivity. I'm showing success. Um, you know, Sometimes the title isn't enough. You have to become human. I think if I walked up to somebody and I said, oh, yeah, Inc. Magazine said I was a top eight podcaster, they go, cool, I can't do that. But then when they hear my backstory, they can do that. And that's the third part. That, you know, the third part is really connecting with that audience. And the best way to connect with any audience is to be vulnerable and open about your journey and about your story. And of course, the fourth part is you want to teach something. You want to teach people. They, you, they want to take something away. They want to learn from you. They want you to become their mentor, their teacher, their coach, whatever the case may be. And so you have to teach them uh, something as well. And, and really, when I look at a guest, that's really the four part trajectory of telling your own story. Um, You know, you have to first start with the accolades because people have to applaud you and say, why should I be listening to this? Why should I be listening to you? They then have to relate. So you really hit that rock bottom moment and then talk about how you climbed yourself out of that and tell your story in that way. Uh, And then number four, teach something. Uh, And I think that that's really the trajectory that when you guys are ready to be a guest on a podcast, this is how you do it. It's really about the audience. It's not about selling anything. It's not about um, you know trying to grow your business. It's about trying to impact a life. 
uh, whether again, whether it's one person or a million people. Um, I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I want to do more things like this in the moments of growth where I'm actually teaching. Um, and obviously, you guys are kind of along for this ride with me. And if you've been listening so far, you know, you're probably somebody who wants to either start their dreams and start living their life that they really want, or you've already done that and you're learning how to level up. And I want to help you guys truly grow that whole thing. I encourage you to reach out to me on Instagram at GNM podcast, give me a follow, and then uh, send me a message and tell me what your greatest accomplishment is. I would love to hear it. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me for the last couple of minutes. I'll see you next week.